Alright, so... Parents! They're here, man! Well, where are they? They are just on the other side of the door. Your baby is coming! <laughs> <laughs> You know, I always wonder why Robin was the most hated member of the Titans. Looking back, OG Robin never had that problem. That guy was cool, calm, and always knew to. And he had good fights. But when I turn over to look at this one, it's a whole nother different story. And in my opinion, it's not even how annoying he is. I could accept literally all his weirdo shit if he wasn't so down bad. I remember this one time. So Cyborg had this little new matchmaker machine. And Robin, being the fiend that he is, was begging him to try it out. So he put it on Starfire and cranked it to see where perfect match. And it turns out it's... So then he spent the next few weeks fiending for Starfire's attention, trying to be like Aqua. And of course, you guys know she wasn't fing with it. Hell fucking no, pause. That stretch and Speedos, is that not wild? But that didn't work. So moving forward, he had to resort to other measures and made a suit out of dead fish. <laughs> then had the nerve to pull up on Starfire that musty. <laughs> Thing you like? And then the last idea that he had was the worst because he attempted to talk to fish. It's like I have this connection. That was somebody's father. <laughs> And what's crazy is all of this is worth nothing because Starfire's perfect match wasn't even Aquaman. It was a fucking scratching post. What I hated most about this episode is that Robin refused to be himself and went every which way just to try to impress Starfire. But not only did he fail, he ended up having the reverse effect on him. He did all this battling sharks and killing his mans for what? Her to end up with a scratching post in the end? It's an evil world we live in. Robin gotta start hanging out with my guy, Future Hendrix. But I'm not gonna lie, he does have some better moments in the show that'll make him totally terrible. Hey, yo, Walt, what's the temp looking like over there? Time to go. Never mind. Yo, what the fuck? Why would you do that? But have no fear because the leader Robin is here. And he springs into action, knocking out all of the fight. What an excellent leader. Look at him go. But sadly, Robin feels like nobody else in the tower thinks so. But no time for that. Primal. So now the Titans gotta go take down Brother Blood in the middle of Jump City, but they don't want to. So what Robin decides to do... There's actually no way that he thought that would do something. Whoa, shit! We got Girl Robin, we got Tim Drake Robin, and then we got Dead Robin. No, Jason, no, no. So immediately the Robins get out. And as soon as they left, these niggas came right back. So then Beast Boy Scheming Ass immediately comes up with an idea to try to scam the Robin. He first starts to confuse them by asking them who the best Robin is. And since Robin is who he is, it starts an internal beef within the Robin. So then this nigga Cyborg starts instigating, talking about some they need to have a challenge to see who the strongest is. But because Robin is such a pure leader, he would never fall for anything. And he just jumped out the fucking window. So Robin one believes that he brought back the pizza in time. But lo ho ho and behold, it was in fact the other Robin. So now this nigga Robin gotta go through his counterparts, making his teammates even more lazy. That's it! This is when my boy finally had enough and put his foot down. Moving forward, the Titans get a crime call. But now they're sad and useless because they don't know how to use their powers anymore. But Robin being the great leader that he is, gives him a thorough speech that would surely invoke the hearts of the losers because they just got fucking wrecked again. And while Robin is trying to explain a dumbass plan to get them released, what is this fucking doing? The rest of the Titans take it into their own hands to try to contact the rest of the Robins. But doing that, they tricked Robin into calling the rest of them himself. Man, f*** y'all. really thought they was gonna jump me, bet I'm gonna go up the hurt bot with these so all the Robins launch an attack at the Hurtbot and get f***ing wrecked. But just before everyone is about to die, they all come together and they realize that all the Robins have something good about them. No matter how big, small, ugly, or tall, they're all important in their own way. But it don't matter because they're about to f***ing die. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind because the best Robin came to save them. Yeah. Yeah, that's Robin. Now, this one was a little redeemable for my boy Robin. Even though he got manipulated and used by his teammates to use the other Robins for their own benefit, he was able to reconcile with them in the end, showing that true emotional vulnerability that every leader needs. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a gold star, Robin. You deserved it, you little rascal. Is rascal not crazy? Oh, get out of here. It's my vid. Uh, all right, but rascal is wild. Though. But now that I think about it, there is one other time that I didn't f*** with Robin. 
All right, so we start up. Wait, hold. Why the fuck would you pop up on the table? Disgusting. Moving forward, Cyborg and Beast Boy keep talking about Robin's baby hand. Baby hand. Yo, wait a minute. What could Cartoon Network be insinuating? Yeah. Wait, nah. What did they do to my nigga? Huh? And man, you thought I wasn't gonna see this too? Why is this nigga Eddie Nacky? And out of all stations, oh it would be y'all too, I think huh? I'm gonna be so the staff meeting starts, but nobody showed up. Man, I wish my teammates would disrespect me. Well, too bad, so sad, bitch. Chess queen, oh my gosh. Telling Crime alert. Oh no, it's him again. You're fucking going down, brother. Blood, all right. My nigga, you do know that I can't hear you, right? So then Brother Blood ups this doofus merc ass weapon on these dudes. And Robin tries to stop the rest of the Titans from getting hit, but it's too late. Every single Titan member lost their most core memories. Do you know what that means? I get a do-over! What the what, 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 what? After this, Robin brings back the rest of the Titans to Titan Town. He reintroduces himself and he assures them that everything's gonna be alright. I mean, I guess that's alright. It is the most normal thing that you've done today. But then it all went downhill when he started f***ing capping to these niggas. Talking about he gave Cyborg his suit. Like he ain't built that hole from the ground. Then up. he baby birded Beast Boy. And told Raven she was a blank. And just when you think it can't get any worse. This man lies in front of everybody and says Starfire is his short. He's capped out. Now you want to throw on some tunes? All right, let's see what you got. Wait, okay. Now my nigga bread. You for sure for the puller now. Then they start begging Robin for more of his war stories, and of course, knowing the egomaniac that he is, tells his dumbass story. And you know what? I was gonna let it slide, but this nigga said the dumbest shit about how he had flight. You were never equipped with that. You never had that. You are not him. You are not that guy. Oh, look, another crime alert. So this man blows up the weapons department of Jump City, and the Titans come to stop. But guess what happens when he tells these niggas to go into action? No way. We want to see you fight. Wait, my bad. Say that again. See you fight. One more time, just a little slower. <laughs> and that's exactly what your dumb ass is. And just when he's fun to tell the truth. <laughs> then Robin gets blicked out the sky with him too. But then he comes to tell his teammates the truth how he never gave Cyborg a suit, never baby birdie beast boy, never turned Raven from a blanket, and never had Starfire as a girlfriend. As if she already didn't know that. But then he reveals his baby hands to the rest of the Titans, and then suddenly they all regain their consciousness. And then they finish out by jumping the fuck out of Brother Blood. But I'm telling you, I could have went all day, all day without seeing this disrespect at the end. We may not listen to you sometimes. And sure, we like making fun of you. But? There is no but. That is all. <sighs> Every nigga out there would have got the Yusuke combo that night.